It's mostly new characters, but there's a connection to Thieves Paradise when you get laid on in the book. Because it's, and, and I created Thieves Paradise. Uh, I did this now with Thieves Paradise with Con Man, and a lot of it took place in this pool hall. So a, a lot of these characters, some of the characters in Bad Men, Wicked Women, you'll see they came out of that same pool hall from, 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 hey, hey, from, from, from way back when. From way back when. And you'll, and you'll see a connection to Thieves Paradise to, and to the Gideon universe in a, in a small way inside of a Bad Men, Wicked Women as well. A dark place when because Gideon is not the first dark character you've ever had. Do you really have to go to a dark place to create these characters or to continue them? We <laughs> have to go to a dark place to create these characters. Yes, and this dark place is called America. <laughs> it's pretty dark here. I'm just I'm just letting you know. You know. Uh, when I first started writing uh, the Gideon series. You know, this is funny because I was sitting down and so I'm going to write about a character who is sent to take care of somebody. So I'm writing about a character who is intentionally going to kill somebody. I had to have a conversation with myself before I, before I could get there. Because I, I was like, okay, am I going to do this? You know, and because I remember then I wrote down somewhere during the, during the novel that Gideon knows 22 ways to kill people. Yeah. You know, and, and I was like, oh, so what they told me is every time I write one of those scenes, it's going to be different. And that goes back to what we were saying earlier. So even as you're reading the Gideon novel, as he does what he does, he's not doing it the same way over and over again. So hopefully you as a reader, the suspense stays there and you are bored. Because I read a novel, um, another great writer, he was really good, but his assassin, every time he killed somebody, he did it the same way. So I'm on the third book, I'm like, I know how he's going to do it because he does it the same way all the time, you know what I mean? The gun never jams or, or nothing, you know? And I just wanted Gideon to be a little bit more um, creative, a bit more creative. The situations are different. Even as I brought in, in the Gideon universe, characters like Hawks, she does the same thing. She's a bad girl. She, has, she is a bad girl, but she does the same thing, but she does it in a different way. So that way, uh, and then jump into, say like, the other woman, not the other woman, uh, a wanted woman. Uh, Goldilocks. She does the same thing, but she does it in a totally different way. Goldilocks uses uses disguises. I mean, she uh, she's a master of accents. I, when I wrote her, she was like this, the old TV show um, Wild Wild West. You had Jim West, who was the fighter and and the brawler. That's Goldilocks. But then you had Artemis Gordon, who was the master of disguises and access. That's Goldilocks too. So I put them all together to create one character. Uh, you see her one moment, she has uh, the accent of a kiwi. The next, she's dark in her skin and she's a Jamaican man. So you, she could be in the same room and you have no idea that she's there. So, and, and, and for me, that made it really exciting to write that character. So every time I move from one scene to another, I mean, and this is someone who is, she does a job, and she stands in the mirror and just shaves all her hair off, just without a thought. I mean, she doesn't have that bend there, like my hair, how she shaves it all off. And now when she leaves to go to the airport, now she looks like a cancer patient. <laughs> you know, she's, she's doing this intentionally. You know, she's moving from spot to spot. I said without being detected. Yeah, without being detected. You know, it's because it's like, you're looking for this long, uh, this kiwi with long red hair, you're not looking for this brown-skinned guy with a Jamaican accent, and he just walks right by. He stands right next to you, you know. And then just just for kicks, and then just walks on into it, gets on the plane, and, and flies off, you know. Yeah, and that's how I wanted that type of character. You don't know. I really fantasize about writing about her meeting Gideon and her being next to Gideon, and Gideon has no idea that this guy that he's sitting sitting next to is really this girl who is connected to somebody from the other novels. So yeah. Well, I know, I definitely can't wait to read the next one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you.